Good morning. Welcome back to Mama Sue's Kitchen while we're camping. Um, today is our last day camping. We've had a wonderful time at Gulf Shores. The weather has been beautiful. It's supposed to start raining though and rain for several days. But um, I wanted to thank you first of all for all the sweet comments that you left Harold and me when we shared how Mama Sue Southern Kitchen got started. I've had more than one person to say, to message me and say, please show us the inside of your camper. We're interested in purchasing one. And, you know, I thought, well, okay, if you want to see my camper, that's what I'll show you today. Let me tell you, our camper is a 2012 Jayco Pinnacle. And when we bought it, we bought it from a dear friend. It's uh, perfect for us. It's probably bigger than we needed, but um, I love it. It's a fifth wheel and I feel like I could live in it. So because I was asked to show you the camper, I'm about to take you on a tour. Now Harold has been videoing me and he's gonna pass the camera my camera over to me and then I'll start the tour. Okay, we're trying not to make you sick by going slow, but I'm gonna walk backwards and I'm gonna start when you first come in our door. When you first, this is the door. As you come in, you come into our little kitchen area what I love more than anything about this camera is it has a big refrigerator. Both sides open up for the freezer and the refrigerator. And then, let me go slow because like I said, I don't wanna make you sick, but I love my little island bar, Sea Scouts food bowls. And yes, my stove works, my oven works, but you know, I don't want to, I don't want to heat it up in here with the gas, so we use our um, hot plates back there and our toaster oven, and it has worked for us perfectly. Okay, when you go on this side, here's our table and chair. Y'all look at this plant. I had the sweetest sweetest surprise on my birthday from the dearest people at home and they brought me this plant it's called a polka dot plant and it made the trip with us because I didn't want anything to happen to it okay here is our living area it came with two swivel recliners and our TV and it has a fireplace and we used it in March when we were camping because we woke up one morning and it was in the low, well, high 40s and it heated for sure. Let me slowly turn it. Okay. Here's our sofa. I have a, um, a an old quilt over it because probably the only thing about this whole camper that needs to be replaced is the sofa. It's worn, but it's comfortable and it works fine with the quilt over it. Okay, now we're going to head upstairs. Um, I, I have a huge pantry right here. It's great, it's, it's wonderful. And then we used this for a coffee bar because we're both coffee drinkers. All right, I'm gonna head upstairs to our bedroom and bath and scout, mama's coming by. Okay. Okay, when you get up to the top of the stairs and you turn left, here is our bathroom, our shower, commode, and I'm gonna back back out. Here is our bedroom. We have a king size bed. And uh, we also 
also have a door from the bathroom into our bedroom. You see my chapstick by my side of the bed? Carol says I have an addiction. I think I have to have chapstick all the time. We have a big closet storage space there and a little dresser right here. There's a TV in here, but I haven't even turned it on. Harold and I, when we watch TV, we watch it in our little living space because when I come to bed, I'm either reading or I'm checking Facebook, so that's what I do, but Anyway, I just wanted to uh, to share this with you and let you know that although it's a 2012, it is perfect for us and we absolutely love it. Now, let me turn the camera back around because I'm not going to leave you until I talk to you a minute. All right, I'm going to tell you, like I always do, that Jesus loves you. I'm telling you, he doesn't remember any of your past if you just ask him to forgive you. He says he doesn't remember it at all. It's, it, we do, but just remember that once you give your life to him and you repent and you turn from those wicked ways, that your sins are forgiven. But be salt and light. In Matthew 5, 13 through 16, he tells us to be salt and light. And I just wanna thank you so much for following me and sharing my page and all of your sweet comments. I'll be back soon.